Okay, thank you, Dr. Larry. Um, we asked several people to just submit some questions. So I would like to read one question that was submitted. And the first question is, what should you do if you prayed about something and you get opposite of what you have prayed? Okay, and then the second question, how do you know for sure Elohim, God's voice, when you are praying? How do you know if it's his voice or if it's your own mind talking to you? Thank you, Dr. Larry. All right. So there was some uh, great questions there. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate uh, whoever asked that. You know, no question is a simple question. Every question is important. And we appreciate uh, whoever asked it, asking that. Now, the first one is if you pray and get something opposite, or if you legal petition the government, and my wife, she's gonna go off in a minute. If you legal petition the government, of the kingdom based on, let me put it this way, if you legal petition the government of the kingdom based on the constitution, then whatever that constitution, which are the scriptures, we have a written constitution, the kingdom government have constitution just like all other government, governments do, you know, so we need to understand that we are citizens, we have rights and our rights are where? In the constitution. So if that occurs, if that happens, and you are praying based on the word, which is the constitution, which contains our privileges, our rights, our benefits, the release of our power and authority, then you're gonna get exactly what you asked for. If something else happened that you didn't ask for, it's, 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 it's strange, you know, when that happens, because based on the word, which is precise and perfect, my first question is who gave you what you got and that's not what you asked for. You know, and we got religious cliches out here where, you know, uh, you be careful what you pray for because you might get something else or he may give you what you ask for. I don't I don't know how to be careful to, when I pray and I, you know, I got what I asked. Why be careful if I want something and whatever I ask, I got it. See, that's religion. The second thing, I pray for one thing and I got another thing. Well, I know God knows what's best for me. Well, he can't violate his word. He, he is only going to respond to his word. And if I didn't speak his word, and if my request wasn't based on his word, now we got to look at to who gave me what I got. Because he's not a counterfeit. He cannot break his word. Uh, he cannot override his word. He cannot do anything. And we're going to go over this when we deal with the principle of prayer. He, get, he cannot do anything that's apart from his word. And we have to always remember that he cannot do anything that's separate or apart from his word. He honors his word. Jeremiah, who called Jeremiah 1, 12, he is watching, paying attention to his word to make sure it happened. In Tehillim, 103 and 20, called Psalms, the angels have been commanded to make sure that the word is accomplished. Yahshua, Yahai, called Isaiah uh, 55 and 10. His word that is gonna come down from the kingdom, the country of heaven to the earth, it won't come back to him without accomplishing what he said. So if you prayed and you didn't get what you prayed for, find out who gave you that and where did it come from? That's what, that's how, that's a, I think that I just laid some concepts down and religion always come up and have some type of an excuse uh, because of a lack of knowledge on why something else happened. If you can go into scripture and find out, great. But if it's not in the constitution, then I wouldn't go with that. And the second one was how do I know, I believe it's how I know the voice, right? The voice of Holy Spirit when I'm praying. How I, how I know, was that it, baby? Yes. I know the voice of the Holy Spirit when I'm praying. Well, that's, <clears throat> that's huge there. That's extended uh, uh, subject that also need to be taught. Knowing the voice of the Holy Spirit Knowing the voice of your born again human spirit, you know, there's a difference. You know, your, your born again human spirit. See, Shea O said it, put it this way, and Roman Yim calls Roman, uh, I believe it's nine and one. He said, My conscience con me together, and then uh, science actually spell the word conscious C O N, and then you spell the word science. 
All right. So he, he was making reference to the voice of his spirit. Our conscious, subconscious is the voice of our spirit. So he said, my conscious bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. All right. So he knew the voice of his spirit and we should, we should know the voice of our spirit. And we have to know the voice of Holy Spirit when he speak to us. Holy Spirit speaking, Elohim, the Father speak, Yeshua speak. They are all one. Holy Spirit is the governor on the inside of us. And one responsibility of a governor is to make sure that all the citizens of that state, country, or whatever conform to the culture, laws, characteristics, and mandate of that nation. So that's what he is doing in us now. And he is definitely talking to us. And uh, of course, I'll give you one example, then we got to move on because like I said, this is an extended teaching. How to know the voice of the Holy Spirit. If you search a, a YouTube channel out, you'll find those teaching imperative knowing the voice of the Holy Spirit, how to follow the voice of the Holy Spirit. We got a lot of teaching on that. But I will tell you this, the voice of the Holy Spirit is, is authoritative, authoritative. All right. Mo, Mose is a still small voice, but uh, actually when the whole, you know, because when he was speaking to, uh, you know, Elijah, who called Elijah, when he spoke to him, was it wasn't the, what he was trying to get across to in that passage, it's not all the drama and the big supernatural signs and wonders of thou art my son. I've come to speak it unto thee now. No, he was trying to let him know I'm not into that. I'm gonna speak to you just like another man is talking to you. And of course we know when the father spoke in uh, the Biram called Deuteronomy 4, uh, the, the fire hit the mountain, burned the top of the mountain up and his voice came out of the fire and the people got scared. All right, so the voice, when you hear Holy Spirit, he's gonna be authoritative when he speak. Uh, to you, the voice of your human spirit is so common and natural and genuine, but most time we miss it and we get them mixed up. So that's a teaching right there. And when you're praying, if you're praying the spirit enough and be yourself up upon your most holy faith, praying the Holy Spirit, you'd be more sensitive to Holy Spirit as well as the voice of your spirit. Mama and you say one man told me, <laughs> one man, you know. So your spirit is always talking to you. Remember that your spirit, born again spirit, is always talking to you if you're not born again. Your spirit is always talking to you. Witches, warlocks, tap into the human spirit, which is, if they're not born again, cut off from the connection has been severed from the father's spirit, which he originally designed for us to live on the inside out. But when uh, Adam committed the act of rebellion in the garden, then that connection was severed. Now, our spirits are still intelligent, uh, still uh can discern things and things of this nature, but uh, it's not a safety guide to follow if we're not born again, let me put it that way. So the voice of your spirit, voice of human spirit, voice of the Holy Spirit, we have to teach that. But when you're praying, uh, you have to be careful because there are soulish voices that will speak to your soul in that soulish realm and never go to your spirit. That's where the enemy operates at. So in prayer, you have to be careful because I've heard, I've known some powerful people who knew how to pray and it was very impactful in prayer and they got some crazy stuff they started talking about that didn't agree with the word. So let me say that about that question. If that voice does not agree with the word, the kingdom concepts, uh, kingdom laws, kingdom principles, everything is networked together. If it go outside of the concepts of the kingdom that is not Holy Spirit speaking to you, that your born again spirit actually is telling you not to listen to that because it's not authentic, it didn't come from Holy Spirit, and you don't need to hear that. So uh, that's why we need to be taught how to pray. 